hard to do every year to not only have that talent, but to have it performing at a high level. And our next coach definitely knows how to have got teams perform at a high level. A uh, lot of great teams at Fenwick and three straight state championships, a second, a third, and now he's the head coach at Sandberg, top 10 last year. Jim Caliendo is our next guest. Coach, thanks for joining us. How you doing? Good, good. I've talked to you earlier in the season. We've talked about this junior class, and they just continue to impress, and they're really leading this team to what looks like an unbelievable season. Yeah, I think our, our, our boys did real well yesterday, and um, we're real excited about what's coming up. And, uh, um, you know, five, five events and three relays unshaved going into Friday night, so we're real excited. And, uh, to, to talk about that. Being unshaved is such a big edge, mentally, physically. Uh, how do you know, based on what you see in season, yeah, th this kid's okay to make it unshaved, and maybe this kid needs a little help? Well, the swimming is so mental, you know, so I, I really think that, you know, first of all, tapers are made with your training. You know, it's not, not so much what you do at the end of the year it's what you do throughout the season um, but high school kids are so are so focused on peak performances and when you put everything together shave and rest and rub downs and and everything on one performance then that's when you're going to get their best efforts obviously i mentioned a few state championships with fenwick in the early 90s is that something you can draw upon at all with, with, with this good team, or it, it, is this team so different that you treat it in a completely different way? Well, this is a, a real fun group, um, a real special group, I think. Um, I've been at, at Sandberg now for a few years, and, and to put together this type of a, of a group that for the last few years that we've been enjoying our, our little run um, is something special, that we're, we're just enjoying it. Because this is such a young team, mostly juniors, do they almost not know how much they can accomplish at this point? Are, are, are they going to get to state and be surprised how good they're going to do? Well, we're just we're just going to focus on swimming fast. Um, we have some goals, you know, as far as how we want to place as a team and how we want to place as individuals. But we don't really want to focus on that. We want to focus on just what we're going to do in the water. And uh, as long as we swim our times whatever we come away with is, is going to be fine. You know, we just want to swim fast. And is that something that's hard to get the kids to buy into? Obviously, as the coach, you, you, that's your oh, no. total vision. Oh, no, these kids are very focused. Um, you know, they really believe in what we're doing and, and how, we're tra how we train and, and how we prepare them for, you know, let this, this last weekend and the weekend coming up. You know, and I, I think they're, they're excited about, you know, the what they have, the opportunity they have, and um, I think they're really going to make the most of it. Talk about sort of the showdown with Stag. They had an unbelievable meet at sectionals. Was that something you think helped your kids throughout the day, the energy level? Uh, oh, yeah. Well, that rivalry has been there for years and years and years. Um, this year's Stag team is a very, very talented team. Um, yeah, we, we, they beat us yesterday by a couple points. Uh, I think we lost that meet by four tenths of a second. They touched out our 200 free relay and they touched out our 400 free relay. Um, you know, but we bring the best out of each other. And uh, that, that it always makes our, our conference and our sectional extremely exciting to have that kind of rivalry that we see every year. So. We, we talked a little before the show about Hopman, your sprinter, breaststroker. Swimming him in three relays this year. What 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 was the ultimate de uh, deciding factor of saying you know y y the points you're going to help us score on those relays is going to outweigh the individual points? Well, first of all, we believe in giving our seniors the best opportunity to do to go as far as they can. Brian is an exceptional swimmer. He's a he's an outstanding sprinter uh, and a great breaststroker. Um, however. Our goal is to do well in the state series, not just in the sectional. So we, we discussed it, and we, we believe that 
having him on three relays gives us the best opportunity to do our best as a team uh, throughout the state tournament. So, And relays, so important, double points. Do, do your kids, are, are they the type that, you know, they might do something in open hunter free, but you see them on that relay, they're a full second faster? I mean, do, do they oh, have yeah. that mentality? Our kids are, are big relay swimmers. They 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 really pull for each other and, and um, you know, it seems like you know, we're, we're always there in the relays and then we pop a, an individual or two in there. But we, we have some exceptional kids, you know, this year and next year that that I, I think are going to make a big impact individually as well as our relays. So uh, we're real excited. You, you talked about that, the, the relays every year. You always seem to have sprint freestylers from all over the place. Is that something that just in, in practice they're they're going after competing is there's a, a certain a certain thing that, you, that you've done forever that you just say you know this is how you train sprinters and and that's how you get them to go their fastest well i don't think that we we do anything special as far as sprint workouts or anything you know we you know I, it's kind of hard to explain i don't i really don't have an easy answer for that but but i i think that it's our mentality i mean I, the kids love to compete and they love to race and the shorter races are are conducive to that. You know, the longer races where you plan things out, you make a move, you know, or you do something a little bit different. You know, it, it doesn't really fit our mentality. Our mentality is get in and go. Come on, bring it on. You know, and and you know, so I think that you know we do better in the 50s and the hundreds, and you know, then you know, although we did well in our 200s and our 500s yesterday as well. So you know, so we kind of had a complete meet yesterday. So. This junior class, are they competitive with each other? I mean, do, do they do they motivate each other by saying, you know, Veldman just says, I just went out with 50 point in the fly, so Zyler's got to go out and post a good backstroke time. Is, is that something that goes on, you know, fun, fun competitive nature? No, I, I, they train real well together. They push each other in practice um, daily, and uh, they get on each other, too. If somebody is kind of slacking a little bit, you know, they'll find a way to to get their point across that you know you need to pick it up a little bit. Um, uh, they're real good. They're real close. They're real good friends, and uh, it, it just really is a, a, a real supportive group for each other right now. And we're 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 living the high life with them. I think that's so great. that You talked about how you know they'll call each other out if you know they're not oh, living yeah. up to expectations. Is that something you told them to do, or, or they're just they're just that type of group? Well. If they don't do it, it'll come from me, and they, and and that that's usually not as much fun. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, but but we have a united goal, and 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 they're all in it together. So, you know, we're you know, so they they push each other as much as they can. So, do, do they talk about leaving a legacy at Sandberg? This is arguably, if not the one of the most talented groups ever to come through to say, you know, we want yeah. to be remembered here. Yeah, definitely. Um, we broke a number of uh, varsity records yesterday with this juniors and seniors, and uh, they rewrote, rewrote the record board as sophomores last year. So you know they're going to have the majority of our of our school records by the time they graduate, if not all of them. <laughs> you know, so they're a special group, and uh, you know, and we're having a lot of fun. Obviously, it's you know, one year to go with that group. Are, are, are they feel like they're, they're, they're building towards something? Like this year may only be a, a stepping stone to competing for a trophy next year and, and really being one of those teams that, that has the target on your back. Well, again, we have, we have goals, but that cannot be our focus. You know, our, our focus has to be what we do on the water. You know, I, I, you know our place is only going to tell us how good everybody else was, you know, and you know, so as long as we take care of business, you know, we're going to be happy. You know, and and that's that's our focus. Absolutely, yeah. And I, that, that's I think the biggest thing about swimming is you can't control what anyone else is doing. There's no defense, but certainly, you found a way over the years to get kids to perform at the highest level. Do you? How important do you think it is for the coach to be able to relate to the kids as individuals or personality? I mean, have you ever said to yourself going into a season, in the middle of the season, you know, maybe I need to change the way I treat this group because they just react differently from others? 
Not this group in particular, just any, any group. I, I won't change at all. I, I am who I am, and that's, they know it. You know, they, they know, um, you know, when they walk in the door, what they're getting into. And uh, you know, we train very hard, and we train very consistent. And I, I, I think that's, that's where our, our good tapers come from. And where our, you know, our program is designed to swim season best times at our conference meet and then to swim faster at sectionals and then to swim faster at state. I think the, the good programs in the state you know, know whether or not they're going to taper well by the middle of January. You know, if they're able to stay healthy and train hard through the first part of the season and through the Christmas break, the taper's guaranteed. You know, that's when the taper's made. You know, so, I mean, as far as me relating to the kids, I'm getting a little older, you know. I, I used to be their older brother, then I was their father. Now I'm getting close to being their grandfather, maybe. That's not true. You know? <laughs> but um, it's, you know, it has forced me to look at things a little bit differently um, as far as how close I get to the kids or my relationship with the kids. But, but I, you know, I think that I've been able to um, to adjust and, and you know be flexible and, and do a few things. Before, before I turn you loose, you, you said something. You talked about the, that middle part of January being that key time. Is there one me that you I, or is it just the consistency of times throughout the course of January there? Well, obviously you want to see the times get faster throughout the year. Uh, and we do target a couple of meets that, that we swim in that every year that are kind of um, indicators for us. Um, but it's more consistent training than what we do in the in the meets. Um, as long as we're we're being consistent week after week, day after day, in, in our intensity and workouts, then we know what's going to happen at the end of the year. Whether we flatten out or whether we keep swimming faster, and we had a real real strong December this year, and we kind of leveled off in January, you know. But we didn't change our training. You know, we, we kept training. You know, and so far so good. You know, we really had a, a spot on day yesterday, and um, you know, we're looking forward to Friday. Well, I know you know how to get them ready. Good luck next weekend, Coach. Right, thank you. I would like to just say hi to my wife. <laughs> I love you. And um, please, everybody, um, keep your prayers and thoughts for Dave Perry, my friend at Fenwick, who uh, continues to uh, go through treatment and therapy for his illness. Dave, we're thinking about you, buddy. Thank Absolutely. You. Thank you very Thanks, much. Coach.